with this Michigan State team, they're top 10 in the country in three-point shooting. Uh, they're still good on the boards, but the shooting has been something that kind of jumps out. When you look at them, is there one area that concerns you more than the other or sort of what stands out to you? That they're pretty good defensively. They they get up in you, and they really make you have to work to score the basketball. Um, and that's everybody, all five guys that are on the floor kind of on a string from a defensive standpoint. Um, and offensively, they're, they're pretty good. I mean, they, you know, they have, they have had their struggles here as of late, but, you know, some of the games that I've watched, I know the Wisconsin game, you know, was kind of back and forth and Wisconsin kind of got out, but they made a run late. Um, I, you know, I just think they're a solid team. I mean, Izzo's always had good teams, you know, on both ends of the floor and, um, I don't see anything differently. I mean, they compete, man. They, they play hard. That's that's a big part of it. Tom Bruce. Mike, prior to Tuesday night, you guys hadn't lost back-to-back -back games all year. Uh, as you head into this game on Saturday now, do you feel any more sense of urgency, or is it still just a matter of uh, one game at a time and just taking Saturday as it is? Well, it's still one game at a time. I mean, I can't look ahead. Um, you know, we – you know, we got seven games left. We can basically control our own destiny. You know, I mean, we got to we gotta win out. It's kind of how I look at it, um, starting at Michigan State. And, you know, they've had, like I said, they've, I think, lost their last few games. They've had their struggles as well. But, again, I think our team can beat any team in the Big Ten if we commit ourselves. Um, I mean, the Big Ten has kind of shown that this season. Uh, that anybody can beat anybody. So we just got to be committed for 40 minutes. Michigan State is going to force you to have to play them for 40 minutes in order to beat them. Alex Bozich. Hey, Mike, thanks for the time. I'm curious if you're happy in general with the amount of three-point field goals you guys are attempting in each game and if there's anything you can maybe do uh, schematically to, to get more threes. I know you've talked in the past you know about the importance of just the three ball in general and in, in, in basketball today and you guys have only made I think seven over the last two games I just like to make the threes that we're taking you know I'm not you know it, it's not how many you take it's what how many you make and you know we had some good looks the other night against Northwestern uh, I thought Anthony had some good looks you know, Miller had some good – we just didn't knock them down. You know, we got to make them. Kevin. Yeah, Coach, I'm just curious about, you know, the return of the players, uh, the sense that they got the message in practice and how they worked. And uh, does what happened at Northwestern make you think about the starting lineup as well, particularly how Trey played? Well, again, you know, I'll make a decision in terms of where I go with our starting lineup. Um but I thought yesterday's practice was a good practice considering, you know, what had happened at, at Northwestern because it, you know, I, I just wasn't very pleased, very disappointed. Um, but I thought yesterday coming back, you know, guys, uh, you know, guys were back on the floor working and uh, I thought we had a very productive practice. Mike Schumann. Yeah, hey, Coach, generally speaking, how do you go about assigning uh, game planning duties amongst your assistant coaches? Is there is it just a rotation? Is there strategy? And specifically for this one, is it Dane Fife? And, and what do you think he brings to the, the scout for Michigan State? Well, you know, we, you know, in the past, you know, even when I was in the NBA with all my coaches that worked around me, we would break the season down and we haven't, you know, we've done the same thing here. Uh, Dane and uh, Yah and, and Kenyon both, um, they all, they split games. And, you know, if it's 30 games, each one of them will have 10 games apiece. Um, and yes, this is Dane's scout. I mean, it has to be a scout. He spent, you know, most of his time coaching at Michigan State. So what better person would know, you know, Izzo and, and his his thinking and and uh the players that he he coached here in the past year. So yes, it's his scout. Um 
and we will rely on you know some of the things that he tells us but again you know we all watch film and and come to a conclusion on how we want to play on both ends of the floor and uh we're still trying to work on finishing uh the game plan as we speak alec hey coach when you look at michigan state's backcourt obviously some up and down play this season but uh with those point guards what is concerning uh, for your defense about their ability to kind of create off of the dribble and get in the paint? Well, you know, Tyson and uh, Max, you know, Max is a young freshman that's that's very lively, that knows how to play, man. Uh, he's not your typical freshman. That's kind of how I look at it. He's long and rangy and athletic and that can put it down and shoot it as well. Uh, the thing about their offense is, you know, they, they put so much heat on you when you score. They try to get in as quick as possible, and and then they push in it back at you. So, you know, we really got to focus in on getting back, you know, in transition and make sure we're matching to the point where they're not just, you know, running it up our back. So um, that's going to be a big key. But uh, they are talented out front. But, you know, again, we've played a lot of talented guards. You know, we just got to continue to – you know, the defense hadn't really been the problem for us. I, You know, offensively, we had our struggles in terms of making the long ball and, and just completing offensive plays over uh, a course of a 40-minute game. You know, we've had good halves, bad halves. We've put two good halves together. Uh, it's kind of been a roller coaster ride in that regard. But, um, you know, we're going to have to find some offense and our defense has got to stay consistent if we're going to beat Michigan State. Dustin. I guess kind of sticking with that theme, but on the, on the flip side of that question, I mean, what, uh, you know, they've obviously got some bigger guys that can shoot, you know, Gabe Brown, Joey Hauser. I guess what, what makes that, uh, how, how does that add to the sort of the difficulty, the fact that they've got a, a lot of big guys that can shoot the ball and they generally put, you know, two, three guys out there that can make threes? Well, we're going to have to, even in their pick and roll, co- our pick and roll coverage is we got to be sharp in what we're doing. Uh, when that ball's thrown back, we got to make sure that we're getting back to shooters. Um, and in our schemes, when we're switching and things of that nature, you're going to have to switch up and make sure that we're not giving these guys their shots where they, they're comfortable in making threes. I mean, we've done a pretty good job in defending in the three-point line and knowing that we're going to have to do a, a, a hell of a job against this team because they do put up a lot of threes and they make them. Last question, Joe. Hey, Coach. Yeah, I just wanted to follow up. Um, you mentioned starting lineup. With the way Trey Galloway played at Northwestern, is he pushing for a chance to start maybe moving forward? And what do you think of his play so far this season? He's been he's been fantastic. And, um, um, I mean – Coming off the bench, he's been great. Uh, the other night, I thought the first time he got a crack to start, he was phenomenal the whole game. So, you know, I mean, it's a thought. You know, I mean, we'll we'll have to make that decision after today's practice and see where we are. Uh, but he's he's definitely played well enough to be in the lineup. 